welcome to uh, another lecture series on design and analysis of algorithm. In today's lecture, we are going to see about the brute force approach. And in that, we are going to discuss about the knapsack problem. So what is meant by brute force approach? The brute force approach is a kind of approach that checks all the possibilities. So in the A, we are going to see about various approaches such as uh, brute force, uh, divide and conquer, greedy approach, backtracking, branch and brown, and uh, how brute force approach differs from other approaches like, for example, divide and conquer is that uh, if you want to uh, search for an element, so it traverses through the entire array before finding that element. So if this is brute force approach, whereas the other approach like divide and conquer, it divides the input size or the input array into equal halves and uh, the uh, operation will be performed in only one part of the uh, input, n by two. So this is how brute force approach differs from uh, other approaches. So under that, we are going to see about knapsack problem today. So knapsack problem falls under exhaustive search category. What is meant by exhaustive search is that it is a kind of brute force approach, which is used to solve problems involving permutation, combination, and subsets. So in knapsack problem, we are going to find the subset of item that maximizes the profit. Since it involves subset, it falls under exhaustive search category. So the principle behind working of knapsack is that initially you will given with set of items and you will give them with the knapsack of uh, specific capacity. You need to identify the, uh, initially you need to identify all the list of possible subsets uh, based on the uh, given input. The second step is to filter the uh, filter the subsets. That is, you have to choose only those subsets that satisfy the constraint. So in case of knapsack, the constraint is that the weight of the items which are included in the subset should not include the capacity of the knapsack. So this is a major, this is the main constraint that is used in the knapsack problem. So you have to choose those subsets that satisfy this constraint. So the subset that are chosen are called as the feasible solution. So the feasible solution is or feasible solution indicates all the possible solutions. So we can take it in that way. Uh, third step is that from those filtered subset, you have to choose only subset which maximizes the profit. That is, it should not exceed the weight. At the same time, it should make maximize the profit. So you have to choose that particular subset and that will be your desired solution, which is called as the optimal solution. So from this, you can differentiate feasible and optimal solution. So the feasible solution indicates all the possible subsets which satisfies the constraint in case of knapsack problem. Whereas the optimal solution indicates only subset that maximizes the profit or that optimizes the objective function. So here the objective function is to maximize the profit. So this is the principle behind the working of knapsack problem. Let us see an example here. An knapsack is given with a capacity of 15 kg or 15 kilograms. And you are given with set of items. Totally five items of, are given. Each item will have a specific weight and each item is associated with cost. You have to find form a subset that should fit into this knapsack. So when you are uh, choosing the uh, items, you should make sure that the weight should not exceed 15 kg. And the optimality is like the optimal solution should uh, involve maximum cost. So the weight should not in, uh, exceed 15 kg. At the same time, the cost should be maximum. So let us see how to solve this. So initially, uh, the weight of the items are given. If there are n items, let us assume the weight of each item as w1, w2 to wn and the uh, value which indicates the cost. So the uh, value of each item will be v1, v2 and to vn. So now you have to uh, find the valuable subset of items that fit into the knapsack. So for example, let us assume the knapsack capacity as 10. So now, here, if you look into the figure, you could see the capacity of knapsack is 10. So when you are including item 1, so the weight of the item is 7, whereas the uh, cost of item is 42. So the weight is less than the capacity of knapsack, so you can include. Similarly, the item 2, they are given weight and value. And for item 3 also, they have given. For 4 also, they have given. So first, so first initially, there is a possibility that we may not include any subset if 
the weight of each item provided is greater than the NAPSA capacity, you cannot include any of the items. So there is one possibility that nil, nil item can be included in the subset. That is why uh, we have specified as null initially. And uh, these are the ways, various uh, combinations of the subset. For example, mm -hmm. you can either include only one item, first item alone, or second item alone, or third alone, or fourth alone. In the fifth step, if, in the sixth step, if you, if you see, uh, we have included item one and two. So if you include item one and two, what will be the total weight? The weight of the item one is seven, whereas the weight of item two is three. So the total weight is 10, which is which does not exceed the capacity of nap, knapsack. So we have included. and. It, it falls under feasible solution category. Whereas if you see the next one, uh, one and three, the weight of item one is seven, whereas that of uh, item three is four, the total weight is 11, which is greater than the capacity of knapsack. So we cannot include it under the feasible category. So we can merely write it as not feasible. So you have to list out all the possible subsets. So totally, if you see, uh, we have uh, 16 possible subsets right starting from the null to the last one one two three four totally we have checked uh, 15, 16 combinations out of these 16 combinations only nine are feasible solution whereas the rest are not feasible so we have listed out all the uh, all the feasible solutions from this we are going to gen check which one is optimal if you see here the item or the subset three comma four uh which falls in feasible solution category is the one that maximizes the profit, is the one that has the maximum value 65. So this is your gonna be your uh, optimal solution. So the subset null set 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, comma 2, 2, comma 3, 2, comma 4, and 3, comma 4 will be your feasible solution, whereas the subset 3, comma 4 with the total weight of 9 and total value of 65 will be your optimal solution. Hope you uh, understood uh, feasible and optimal solution here. So totally 16 subsets we have listed on for four items. So the possibility is two power n. So when n is equal to four, we have to check two power n combination before finding the optimal solution. So then, uh, so the uh, time complexity of knapsack problem is or uh, two power n, omega of uh, two power n. Hope you understood this. Thank you. We will see uh, another uh, interesting topic in the next lecture series.